ready? Y'all get ready? Yes, you get ready. This news in the streets. Join us, sentiment for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So, sir, your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Gen Z is aging worse than millennials. And I believe that. So, there's a guy who went viral the other day named Jordan the Stallion. I saw him on IG. But he's really funny, and even The Rock commented on his page. We're going to watch this video together. But he went viral because they're saying that um, Gen Z, y'all look way older than millennials, and I have to agree. I think Gen Z looks very, very grown for their age. They, they do. So we're going to go ahead and watch this really quick. Apparently, Gen Z is like aging really rapidly. It is mainly because of the stress. Come here. We live in a time nowadays where millennials look way younger for their age, while Gen Z looks way older for their age. If you don't believe me, I'm Gen Z. Get closer. I am Gen Z and nobody ever believes me. When my mom and I walk out in public, people think that my mom is my younger sister. Right. When I tell people, oh, I'm going to go hang out with my family, they think I'm talking about my children. I don't have kids. Right? I'm talking about my parents. I'm still the child. Does that make sense? I'll, I'll put it to you like this. Zendaya is older than me. Tom Holland is older than me. That's, you know what I'm saying right now? There was one time I wanted an autograph from Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Right? I was standing for hours for this autograph, and when he walked up to me, I said, can you please sign this poster? It's for Jordan. Right? He then took it and put, dear Jordan, your dad is a great guy. He stood out here for hours and then gave it back to me. And before I can correct him, he looked at me and said, times were way more difficult back when we were kids. Am I right? And then he tapped my shoulder and left. And Dwayne is 52. I am 26. Do you, what, what I'm saying is so Gen Z definitely looks older. I'm not going to lie to you. <laughs> like that video cracks me up. And um, so this has been like a big debate online. You know, like why does Gen Z look so old? Um, they look so grown. And I think part of it is because like this new generation, they just, they've been kind of just raised to like make themselves look older. And I'm not saying that when we were young, we weren't trying to make ourselves look older as well. Um, we maybe tried with our clothes, but we didn't really try as much with makeup. Like it wasn't popular when we were growing up, or at least where I lived in the Midwest, to just have on like a whole face full of makeup. Like makeup was really for adults. Like I don't really know girls who went to school with a bunch of makeup on when we were growing up. The most we ever put on our skin was just shea butter or Vaseline. You know what I'm saying? Everybody's face was greasy as fuck in the early, in the mid 90s. Everybody had that greasy ass face. Um, you know, it's like a little bit of, you know, Vaseline, a little bit of cocoa butter. And that was really it. We didn't wear like foundation and like all that was for like grown folks. Like our moms, our aunties. You know, you might put on like a little bit of eyeliner. You know, people had eyeliner. You might wear some like Bonnie Bell lip gloss. But it wasn't all this stuff. Like I don't even understand half the stuff that these girls put on their face toner and you know face plumper and drunk elephant and retinol and and it's like there's certain stuff now that you have to use now you know now that i'm getting older like they say like hyaluronic acid however the hell you pronounce that word and retinol and i've tried some of that and some of it's just like oh it feels weird on my skin let me just go back to using what the fuck i've been using shea butter cocoa butter just natural stuff i just feel like Gen Z and Gen, the new generation, Gen Alpha, they're being raised to be too grown. I mean, even looking at Kylie Jenner, you know, she started really messing with her face when she was like in her late teens. And now you see her fillers are drooping. You know, she, she looks way older. She does not look like she's in her 20s. Alabama Barker, she looks like she's damn near 25. And this girl's what, like just turned 18. So... I feel like it's it's insane. Yes, eighth graders walking around with whole lace front wigs. If you were bald headed back in the day, you just bald headed. 
You put your you put your little bald headed ass ponytail up on your head and you fan it out. Y'all remember all the bald headed girls had that little fanned out ponytail? And you caught it a day. And if somebody wanted to mess with you because you was bald headed, then you had to know how to fight. You were no wigs. You just had to live within the skin you were in. People have freckles. I don't even see freckles no more. I said, what happened to all the freckle face people? Remember books like Freckle Juice? And then I realized all the people who have freckles when we were growing up, they cover them. You don't see kids with freckles no more like that. Everybody got on makeup. Because I'm like, damn, the freckles disappear? And then it got so bad, I'm seeing people tattooing freckles on their face. I'm like, are freckles that obsolete now that people are tattooing freckles on their face? Even like people who have pimples and acne, you don't really see people out nowadays with acne. I mean, my homegirl was talking about this one time, like, do you ever see like acne ridden people like at Walmart or just, you know, at the store, at the club? You don't. Because all these young kids got on makeup. Even the guys wear makeup now. So you don't. So now we live in a generation where everything has to be perfect. The filters, the pictures. When we were growing up, we had disposable cameras. Everybody did that same pose. And you had one time. Five, four, three, two, snap. And you better be ready. What no redos, none of that stuff. So I just feel like this generation, they do have a lot more stress. And um, they have a lot more pressure to look older than their age and to have their body done and to look perfect. And, you know, a lot of people in Gen Z get breast implants and get their bodies done younger. Even a lot of the guys, too, are pressured to look a certain way. You know, they need to look like bodybuilders and have their bodies on point and be in the gym and drink all these supplements. Whereas, you know, the average, when I was 21, 22, the average 21, 22-year-old guy was just skinny, scrawny, and that was okay. Now I be seeing these kids, I'm like, Gen Z, these Gen Z dudes be looking grown. Y'all don't look like the, like the, you know, the late 20-year-olds when I was in my 20s. They be looking grown as hell. And they love millennial women. But like Gen Z dudes, they do look a lot older. I have been fooled while I'm, you know, dating somebody and I'm thinking, you know, we're closer in age and they're not even 30 yet. It's like, well, damn, what the hell is going on here? How do we look the same age? I'm just saying. Yeah, be having that dude does not look like he's 26. He literally looks like he's 36, if not older. <laughs> he does yes honey Somebody said I'm, I'm giving cougar vibes <laughs> I'm just saying I'm gonna say this Gen Z girls y'all got trouble because the Gen Z dudes really like millennial women they just do they like older women and the Gen Z girls, they like older guys. So I just think like y'all's generation is in trouble. The Gen Z girls, they're going after the ballers and all that stuff. The Gen Z dudes are like, whatever. They're going after the older women. It's it's funny. It's just really, really funny. Yeah, Jordan looks like he definitely got four kids and he's stressed from child support. And he ain't got not one child. He looks stressed from child support. He do. So I don't know what it is, but yeah, I do find like a lot of um, a lot of millennials do look younger than Gen Z. And I just think part of that is just, you know, the fact that we didn't have a lot of access to stuff. Like we just, we don't really care, especially like Gen X. Gen X really don't give a fuck. Gen X gonna step out here. Gen x and <laughs> okay. <laughs> they really don't care because they were raised, you know, by the boomers. And the boomers, it wasn't about all that. Now, but then with that being said, if you look at pictures of boomers back when they were in high school, they, they look old. They look like they've been through some stuff. Go back and look at boomers from like the 50s. They were like 19, but they looked like they were 45. <laughs> I'm like, I don't, I don't know, child. I do not know. But, um, you know, is it everybody in Gen X? No, but a lot of Gen X, they do look a lot older. Like, there's no reason why I can still party with like Gen X girls, like my Gen X cousins. We can all go to the club and I literally look like I'm the same age as them. And I'm like the auntie of the group. 
And at first, I used to be like, should I be embarrassed? No, they should be embarrassed. Fuck that. I'm going, I, I look young for my age. Y'all shouldn't be feeling away. Because y'all should not be looking like we're around the same age. It's weird. It's weird. But I don't know, I don't know if it's the food, if it's just the way that y'all carry yourselves. Y'all carry yourselves just very, very adult-like, very mature. I think because a lot of y'all have access, you know, to social media, the internet. So y'all can carry conversations that we probably couldn't even carry 20 years ago because we didn't have Google. So all we knew was just what we knew in our in our social circles or, you know, what we might have read at the library. But y'all have, like, instant information at y'all's tips. So y'all are able to carry yourselves a lot, you know, a lot more grown. But I'd be shocked, though. I'd be shocked. Because even when I throw my parties, you know what I'm saying? I'm, you know, I'm, you know, my big age. But I'd be fitting right in with everybody. So... Yes, honey. <laughs> Shout out to Gen X and millennials. We are giving Gen Z a run for their money. <laughs> if you want the latest news in the streets, join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the Lovely Tea TV Show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the Lovely Tea TV Show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe.